Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. So here's we're taking a look at GarageBand for the iPad, and this episode specifically, we're going to talk about using an external keyboard to play on your iPad. So we've already talked in the earlier parts of the series about how you can connect other things up via USB. And MIDI controllers like this USB keyboard from M-Audio are one of those things that you can add to the system. You're going to need a couple things to make this happen, though. First of all, you're going to need Apple's camera connection kit, and there's a USB dongle inside that kit, theoretically for connecting your camera straight through into the iPad, but it does work with a few other things as well, including this MIDI trigger. Next, you're going to need a powered USB hub of some sort, because the USB coming off of the iPad itself isn't enough to drive the power of most of the devices that you'll want to attach to it, including this trigger. Lastly, of course, you'll need the USB keyboard in order to control what you're playing on the iPad. In this case, we have the KeyStation 49E from M-Audio. So you want to connect all these up in the right way. So you'll take the key station, you'll plug the USB of that into the USB hub. Then you'll take the USB hub and plug it into the camera connector kit. And then you'll take the camera connector kit plugged into the USB and plug that into the bottom of your iPad. Then when you hit the keys on your keyboard, they'll play on your iPad as well. And you can record using this keyboard instead of the software keyboard found on that. This can be a little bit less limiting, obviously, because you're not scrunching your fingers into a little keyboard like this on the iPad screen. You can actually play naturally with a full-size keyboard like you have on one of these keyboard devices. Then, of course, you have access to some of the other controls found on the keyboard, like the volume control, like so, or the pitch band, and even the modulation if that does anything on the particular preset that you're using on the iPad. So you can control a lot of different things from the keyboard itself, which makes it a much more natural performing environment for a lot of people. If you're used to playing on a keyboard like this already, it means you don't have to sacrifice when you're starting to do a project on the iPad inside GarageBand. Well, that's a look at using a USB keyboard on the GarageBand for the iPad. Don't forget to check out the other parts in the series where we show you how to use the software instruments using the on-screen keyboards. And don't forget to check out the show notes for this and the other parts of the series at butterscotch.com.